Hello, Acadiana. I'm Jonathan Bulat with your sports. The New Orleans Saints enter week four following their first loss of the season. A monster performance from Dallas Goddard would help set up the Eagles to take home a win in New Orleans. Sarah Polcheski has a recap in your Go Black and Gold report. For the first time all season, the Saints high powered offense struggled to do just about anything in a 15 12 loss to the Eagles. A key reason why the Saints offense struggled so much losing a core member of their offensive line center Eric McCoy on the third play of the game to a groin injury. Sunday showed how important McCoy is to the Saints success on offense. New Orleans was averaging 185 yards on the ground in the first two weeks. Sunday, they put up just 89. New Orleans also had just 12 first downs against the Eagles, half as many as they had last week. I don't really think there was much of a, you know, drop off in terms of talent. Mm -hmm. There's just a, a drop off in terms of, of production, you know, and credit them. It was it was on the third play of the game. So who's who's to say what happens? It is hard. Eric's a, Eric's a great player for us and we're going to we're going to need him back for where we're trying to go. It's big it's a big blow. I think he's a you know, an important part to our offensive line uh, and the way that we play up front. And so that was difficult to lose him, and yet it's part of the game, and, and we've got to be able to step up and, and be able to, you know, still play an acceptable level when, when we lose guys like that. Defensively, the game came down to just two explosive plays, a 65-yard rushing touchdown by Saquon Barkley and a 61-yard catch-in run by tight end Dallas Goddard that set up the game-winning touchdown. Goddard carved up the Saints defense, tallying 10 catches for 170 yards. The Saints said they knew the Eagles were looking to go to him late in the game. Instead, they just made the day's biggest mistake. We kind of knew that that was the guy that they were going to try to throw the ball to. We had a double on him and we just ran into each other and created an, ex an explosive play. And so, yeah, it's disappointing. There isn't a lot of discouragement among the Saints after the loss. Instead, there's more anger for the Saints. The focus now shifts to the energy they come with in on Monday to correct the mistakes. Reporting from the Caesar Superdome for your Go Black and Gold, I'm Sarah Palcheski.